These are my beer battered Italian mozza balls. Okay, oh. all right. Fresh mozzarella. Uh -huh. These are chilanginas, uh -huh. and these are the perfect poppable size. Oh, you need a dipper. Dipper. Right? You need you a dipper. Absolutely. Not just any pizza or marinara sauce. We are going to make my pepperoni maronara sauce. Uh, <laughs> you get it? Snap. Sonny, what you're going to start alert. with, what makes it a marinara is that ground pepperoni done in a food processor. Okay, okay. The oil from the jardinera and the jardinera itself. So okay. you can start with the oil from the jardinera. It's got like a ton that. of fermented flavor in there. Mm -hmm. Throw the uh, pepperoni in it. Okay. Nice and kind of medium. Let it sweat out a little bit, get soft, impart all that beautiful flavor. Okay. You can throw some salt in there and some dried Italian seasoning. Hold the garlic until we're ready to add the liquid and so it doesn't burn. Okay. Now let's start with the batter. We got the fresh matzo balls here right? You can leave them in the water. I got some rice flour to dredge. Now becomes this beer bread or using Italian Pilsner beer, mm. right? We're sticking to the theme here, I'll Sonny. Take it, I'll take we got some AP flour. We got some more rice flour we're going to add, right? And the rice flour just kind of crunch, crunch, crunch man. and crunch, man. It's full coverage, it's, right? right? It's a smaller grind, so it's yep. It's going to get into the cracks of the crack. Exactly. Which it's actually a... happens on mozzarella. So we got that with AP flour, some uh, baking powder to help kind of leaven it up and give it some bubs in there. And plenty of salt, kosher salt. And this is the base, the dry base of our batter. Next comes that Italian Pilsner. You can use any light beer. Mm. I don't like super dark beer in my beer batters. I think it's just like too much bitterness. Yeah. So it's about a cup. But you want to kind of do this in stages. You don't want to overmix it. That's one rule when making a good beer batter. You don't want to also destroy all those bubbles and all that effervescence, which adds lightness and airiness to your batter. But you also want it to chill out in the I, fridge for about 15 minutes. I like that you really mixed all the dry ingredients together. Because you want to do as little mixing as possible once you add liquid. Yeah. And like you almost want that pancake batter clump feel that they all say, because that's going to pop in the hot oil and add, again, bubbles, crunch, all that. 15 minutes in the fridge. I got one ready to go right oh, here. Oh, you even rest it like pancake. Yeah, you got to rest it. You got to rest it. So it bubble up. I suggest resting it while you're doing your marinara sauce. <laughs> you got your. Oil, looking at 350 right here. I got some peanut oil. And it tightens up, obviously. And this is pretty, pretty tight. That's why I have a little bit more beer to add a last dose of that carbonation in there. All right, now we got our beautiful the, balls uh, here. Right now? Up, yes, you can. Okay. Perfect. And the garlic before that, actually, okay. in the oil. Mm -hmm. So make sure you sweat out that garlic for about 30 seconds. Done and, done. and I'm going to toss these and give that kind of feb station going. Without the egg, of course, instead of the breadcrumb, we're going to do a batter, but this helps that batter cling. And that's all rice flour. Now we can take these guys and drop them right in that batter. And why'd you decide to do this kind of batter instead of like traditional breadcrumb? In high school, we had cheese sticks, all right? It come in mm -hmm. five cheese sticks, which is an odd number. Yeah, were they rock hard oh, by the time dude, you got to them? You right? know what they were. They're yeah. all like limp. They're, one was hanging a left, one was hanging a right. The, the breadcrumbs were barely hanging on, barely even yellow, let alone golden. But they were gratifying in a way. And I was like, it's been my mission to find great cheese sticks ever since. And it's, it's really difficult because my favorite type of cheese stick is a batter cheese stick. And they're really hard to find. Mostly they're just breadcrumbs or Italian breadcrumbs. I don't think I've ever had a battered one. Oh, it's yeah. just like, it, think about like breaded fish versus battered fish. I mean, mm -hmm. what kind of evokes that pub style? Mm -hmm. And if you've ever had true, you know, fried cheese curds, they're always beer battered. So oh, it's just kind of. Okay, so it's like a combo. It's a combo of everything. And when I was testing this out, it was my goal to do a whole log of fresh mozzarella. And I made about eight of them. And I went through a tremendous amount of cheese. And I just couldn't crack the code. Because it wouldn't melt enough because, yeah. you know, fresh mozzarella yeah. is very... Yeah, like a whole big... Yep. Oh, wow. So right into that hot oil, one at a time so they don't stick together. It's like donut holes here. We got my oil here at about 375, perfect temperature to get them golden brown mm -hmm. while melting that interior. Is the cheese cold or room temperature? The cheese I recommend kind of having out for a little bit mm -hmm. just so it's not... Rock hard cold when you put it in there and kind of expedite the meltitude of it, if you will. Meltitude. You just want to move them around to their golden brown. Delicious. All right. These are going to take a second. I have some in the oven, so you guys don't wait no more. We cannot wait on these. But this is why 
Wow. You took the time. I took the time to make 4,000 versions of that. It's because you I'm got old, these beautiful. Are they hush puppies? Are they fried what cheese? What are curds? they? What are they? They're fried. They're golden brown. They got craggles on them. Sauce over there? Yeah, can you uh, uh, put that in that crock for me right there, please, oh, Sonny? Done and done. These Man, are hot and ready so to good. go. And of course, right when they come out of the oil, you're going to hit it with some salt. Fresh mozzarella needs salt, I yeah, mean, for does. days. I feel like I'm truly in the pub right now with a, the way that the set looks. You know, we've got our mahogany counters. Oh, look, look at, at that maronara with all your Mar peppers. Oh, come Love on. It. All your pepper needs. All right, I'm going to give you some. Who's trying it first Me. here? Oh my gosh, I can smell the pepperoni. I that love really, the pepperoni in there. It really, oh. that's a real definition of meat sweats right there. That is right there. Ground up yeah, pepperoni. Exactly. I like this one that's kind of popped open. It's okay when they pop open because the cheese then creates an automatic seal on it, much like a spaceship. <laughs> and that seal is crispy cheese lattice. Cheese skirt. You know what I mean? Shut your mouth. I like yeah. these crunchies. These crunchies. I know. I'm about to put them on there too. Put them right on here, Sonny. Okay, I'll tell you what this uh, first bite. What this reminds me of in Naples, fried pizza. Oh yeah. This is the pizza frito. They're hot. It reminds me so much of that because that batter turns doughy, mm -hmm. you know, and it's got the crispiness on the outside. That melted cheese in there. You get the heat of the pepperoni. It's. Really, really good.